far as Ultimate Band goes, I'm responsible to make sure that the look of band is cohesive, uh, make sure that all of the artists can work together, have a color palette that everybody follows, and really just create a really innovative, excellent game for, uh, for kids and adults. My part in creating Ultimate Band is just kind of dreaming up the characters, that, what they're going to wear, what colors they're going to have on, whether it's going to be a boy or a girl, and just really trying to make those as cool as we can and as fun as possible. So it's running the gamut of all these crazy designs and interesting shapes. We thought about, you know, the, the kids that would be playing this game and what they might like, and we just tried to make it really fun and exciting, but also a little bit edgy and, and tried to make it as cool as we could so they have a great experience playing the game. So what we have here is we have a wireframe version of one of the venues in Ultimate Band. As you can see, it's just a skeleton. And then you can go to flat shaded mode and you can see how it's all put together. And basically that's a flat shaded lit version of the haunted house venue. And there it is with textures on it. As a sound designer, we have to go through all of the voices and we have to go through all of the sound effects that you hear, any crazy sound or button pressing sounds or um, boings and sproings and button clicks. They're all totally fun sounds that we have to put together. I worked on so many different parts of it. Um, I worked on a lot of the, the instruments and all the hit detection on all of the, the guitars. Um, and I also worked on the DS Wii connectivity feature, which is, I believe, the second game that has the, the DS Wii connectivity. It gives a, a whole new level of interactivity between um, the two games, and so it's that much more incentive to have both, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah.